Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a small surprise for you. This is something that we've been having for quite some time and we were just waiting for the right time to share this news with all of you. So the big surprise is that we now have a bee box at our home and we like to call ourselves a mature beekeepers. Surprised? Scared? Freaking out? Don't worry, you're not alone. That would have been us just a while ago. So what really made us change our minds and most importantly, what made us take this bold step of getting a bee box at home? I know you'll be having a lot of questions in your mind. So I'll try to address some of the questions in today's video. First things first, what really made us get a bee box home? Well, it's a long story, but to give you a summary, a couple of years ago, we found a beehive in one of our bathrooms. And every time I had to use that bathroom, I used to freak out, obviously with the fear of getting a bee sting. But in reality, the bees were busy in their own lives and they were not really troubling us other than just causing an eyesore on our white walls. One fine day, my husband Akshay decided to get rid of the beehive. So he put a fan in the bathroom, he kept the lights on, he basically tortured the poor bees and the bees were very persistent but finally most of them died or the remaining ones just flew away and we got our bathroom back. Thinking back, I don't know how we had the heart to do this but unfortunately later we started regretting it and were feeling really bad about our act. There is an important quote, if the bee disappeared off the surface of the globe, then the man would have only four years of life left on the earth. No more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals, no more men. This quote precisely summarizes the importance of this small insect. Bees play such an important role in our ecosystems. Did you know one in every three bites of food that we eat depends on pollination directly or indirectly? So if these hardworking pollinators were to disappear from the surface of the earth, many of our favorite foods would be greatly affected. Honey bees are vital to our supply of healthy foods. So in January this year, we finally decided to get over our fear of bees and we enrolled ourselves for a one day workshop on beekeeping at ICAR, Central Coastal Agricultural Research Institute. And this beekeeping workshop was conducted by the Krishi Vigyan Kendra here in Goa. Through this workshop, we managed to meet scientists and beekeepers who gave us an insight into the fascinating world of beekeeping. The workshop even included a practical demonstration where the instructor let us hold a frame from an actual bee box. So even though this whole experience was extremely overwhelming, we realized one thing that bees are not as scary as we'd initially thought because none of us got a bee sting even when we were standing so close to an open bee box. We also learned during the workshop that a honey bee dies a pretty bad death when it actually stings. This is because a bee stinger is designed in such a way that when it punctures the human skin, the bee cannot take it out without dying. As it tries to take out its stinger, it ends up rupturing its own abdomen. Also remember that you wear your full armor when you actually open a bee box. This includes a hat with a net, uh, you have thick rubber gloves, you wear full length pants and uh, you wear a jacket. So there is no way really that a bee can actually sting you. So you see, you take all the necessary precautions. But let's say in the worst case that a bee ends up still stinging you, uh, then there is nothing much to worry. You are not going to die with one or two bee stings. In fact, I found a very interesting research article which talks about the health benefits of a bee sting. So you see, all's good. 
we also found that uh, the indian government gives a lot of subsidies to promote beekeeping as a profession or as a hobby so this bee box that we got cost us 6500 rupees along with the bee colony and the government gives a subsidy of 6000 rupees so in reality you just need to spend 500 rupees from your own pockets isn't that amazing beekeeping is being promoted as a good source of income because unlike agriculture which requires you to have a large space you don't need much space to have a bee box at your home also besides honey there is a good demand for other byproducts such as beeswax okay so now let me tell you a little about our bee box there are different types of honey bees and i'm not going to get into the details of those in this particular video but the honey bees that we decided to bring home are known as epicerana indica or the indian bees these are the local bees found and domesticated in the indian subcontinent you may be thinking these are those large bees that you find making beehives on branches of the trees or on tall buildings well those bees are rock bees and they cannot be domesticated uh, because they are very aggressive the indian bees that we got are much smaller in size and are much milder in nature too but let's say you are still freaking out about that bee sting then there is a third variety of bees called as the stingless bees and as their name suggests they do not sting so the stingless bees are even smaller in size than the indian bees and they produce much lesser quantity of honey hence the honey produced by stingless bees is much more expensive so usually having a bee box at home makes sense if you want to generate additional income by selling the by products or honey but in our case we just felt that the bees are so important in our ecosystem and we just wanted to play a small part in helping save the bees it's been around 6 months that we have this bee box here at our home and we have been successfully managing the bee colony and unlike any other pets these bees are very self reliant in nature okay imagine you have a pet dog you need to buy biscuits you need to give him a regular bath you need to get him vaccinated but you don't need to do any of these things for your bee pets these bees take care of themselves and even feed themselves so trust me in just a few months of actually having them here and after watching them from such close proximity all my fear and inhibitions about these honey bees has completely disappeared and this may sound a little odd to you but i even find them cute now i haven't seen a more hard working creature than a honey bee they are busy from morning to evening and they are so organized in their work we have a lot of coconut trees in our vicinity and thanks to these honey bees our coconut produce has already doubled check out the bees searching for pollen here earlier there used to be just 4 to 5 coconuts on this tree and now i can already see 20 small coconuts already forming on this tree isn't that amazing the reason i made this video is because people are not aware of beekeeping and how practical it is to have a bee box at your home. I hope this video helps you consider having a bee box at your own home someday. So that's it for today guys. I will be making many more videos on beekeeping. So please like, share and subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.